Hello. Thank you for joining me. It's Monday the 14th of August. Now, I was going to go out for a run just now, but then it poured with rain, so I had to abort mission. <laughs> so I thought I'd do this instead. Right, let's see what two cards we've, uh, we've got today. Oh, they all nearly fell out then. Okay. Right, we've got the page of... Oh. Okay, so this tarot pack is called the Crystal Vision Tarot. Um, by a, oh, I can't remember the lady's name now. I'll have to find out and, and put it in the comments. Um, can't remember. Sandra Ann Taylor, I think her name is. Anyway, this has got the traditional 78 tarot cards, but then it's also got this one. And this is the unknown card. And I always feel like saying spoilers when that comes out because sometimes you desperately want to know how your life's going to pan out and what's happening and, you know, where you're going. And this one's like, well, you know what? So you're actually not meant to know sometimes. Um, so we've got the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups seems really reflective. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, young lady sitting in the waist up to uh, water up to her waist uh, so half submerged in water so I feel like that is the idea of really submerging yourself in your feelings and your emotions and trying to just work out um, making sense of stuff we had this with the hermit card yesterday um, and I feel like this is um, so there's two sides to this Always tap into your feelings. If something's not feeling right, there's usually a reason why. You might not know the reason why. You might not even work that out for a good many months to come. But you've got to go with how you might be, you know, how you are feeling. I think there's also the element of trust here. We've got this beautiful white light coming out of this cup, and that kind of does signify about following our path. But following our path can be scary because we just don't know what's going to happen. We just don't know. And this lady's here. She's she, you know, she, she looks, um, you know, very pagan, doesn't she? She's got this crystal ball. She's got the crow there. I don't know if you can see him. The crow is carrying a magic wand. Got the moon high in the sky. So we've got the moon in both of these pictures, and I actually feel that that's a really lovely message that. <laughs> Whatever you're doing has a knock-on effect to someone else, wherever that be in the world, okay? So you might see this message today and you might not be in the UK. You might be in America or Australia or somewhere and think, oh, yeah, I really get that. That's going to help me. And in turn, you might have a chance conversation with somebody uh, because you've gone out somewhere and that have a knock-on effect with them. We're all connected in the world. And I think, you know, when you've got the moon in the sky or the stars, we're all living under that same sky. So I feel like this page of cups is saying, don't think you're on your own because you are part of a very intricate, interconnected world. All right? And you've got a part to play in it. You might not understand that. No one really does, do they? No one really understands whether they're doing the right thing or not. But you can feel it within you if uh, if you're going along the right path. So I feel like this lady is reminding us that we are not supposed to know everything that happens to us. But also, sometimes if we feel like we've taken a wrong turn, we haven't. It was a learning opportunity. I don't always feel great, but if you're reflecting on something that hasn't gone so well or a relationship maybe that, that could have been better or, you, you know, the part you played in it wasn't as good as perhaps it could have been. These are all life lessons. This is what we're here to do. We're here to learn. OK, and although pages do symbolize new opportunities, I think that's the, the issue. This is new learning opportunities of how we can work with our emotions, understand our emotions and really enhance them to, to guide us for the future. And I think once we've got that internal shift that we really do focus and understand our own truth and what we want, then it doesn't matter that our life is not known to us because it then becomes enjoyable going into the unknown is exciting and not fearful 
all right? So, you know, it's that, um, I say this, like when the star come, comes out, the star card, and you get like, oh, anything can happen. And that can bring so much excitement or so much fear. It really depends on your mindset and how in tune you are with the fact that you've got to trust that it's all going to be okay. So what else can we say about this card? I do, I do really love this card, actually. I didn't realise when I saw, when I said about the moon, because I couldn't see it clearly, this is not a full moon. This is actually a new moon, but it's bright. It's so bright. It actually looks like the full moon, doesn't it? And then, of course, you've got the, the crystal there. It's looking like the moon. And I can't help thinking that these three moon, moon, moon is, again, a reference to what's going on in August. Yeah, we've got the big super moons either side of the start and the beginning, start and the end <laughs> of August. And coming up this week, we've got that new moon. So I feel like, yep, yeah, this one's happened. This one's about to come. And that one's in the future. But I think these next two weeks are going to be a bit of a turning point for a lot of us. Um, but again, it's unknown. We don't know that for sure. But let's just see how it pans out and just trust that everything's going to be OK. All right. Well, hopefully the weather will brighten up today for me. And I hope it's nice where you are too. Um, please do like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. I really do appreciate it um, when you do that. And if you'd like to leave me a comment, I always do reply. So have a lovely day and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.